God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Hey everybody, it's Life with Gwen and Joe. We're just uh, down here in Florida at the beach. Just, it's been incredibly beautiful down here. We're down here with family, and we've got, what, about 15 or 20 kids down here right now? Oh, yeah, there are a lot of families and lots of kids. There's probably about 20, 25 kids here. It's all about God! When we come down here, a very special thing takes place. We we pray with the kids, but we do what's called devotionals down here. We, everybody gets together, and we talk about certain topics uh, related to the Bible, related to God, related to faith, related to prayer. And I just always end up being so proud of the kids because they are so upright and so godly. And subsequently, their lives are in order, they're happy, they're well-adjusted. Absolutely, and you know, so we call them divas, right? And these yes. kids are like, look, look how they, they all are sitting still, they're paying attention, Absolutely. and they answer questions about the Bible and about God, and they talk about their relationship with God. And I can't tell you what it's like to be able to get out, and we, we were able to go out to dinner, and then these kids, you don't have one worry that they're going to get into something or do something that they shouldn't be doing. And so, isn't that amazing? They don't, they, don't they, they, they listen to their parents, which uh, sometimes kids have a hard time doing, but they're under authority. We can go off and leave them with their babysitters, and we don't have to worry about them sneaking around or doing oh. things behind our back. They are happy to, to do what their parents say, and that's kind of a rare thing today. Yeah. And uh, I'm just so proud of the kids. So, so proud of them, and they're, they're amazing children. When they, when they obey, they get rewarded, and uh, Joseph Langston took them out today with a bunch of the parents out on the pontoon boat, and they were tubing, they were going down the slides, and we all got together and prayed before we went, and we were praying in the name of Jesus Christ that no one would get hurt. Well, no one got hurt, and I'm praising God for that. And, uh, and then uh, we prayed that they would be more in love with God when they got back than they were before they left. And so guess what? They're all smiling. It's beautiful. God, I just pray for this good morning today. And I thought give us the words from, from the heavens so these children can rise up to worship you. Jesus, I'm praying. So, okay, you kids are adorable. I mean, and we all know how lucky we are to get into that life. And so I wanted to start with telling you, thank you so much. I wanted to start with telling y'all everything y'all are doing right, okay? Because there's uh, a lot of places that we have, you know, this many kids here, and, uh, uh, it would be a total disaster. And you wouldn't be able to get anybody's attention. You could have said, hey, let's have a Devo. And everybody runs over here in like three seconds and has a Devo. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, could, you couldn't get that. And you also, um, how do you know that you're doing something right? How do you know uh, if you're living right? How do you know if you're pleasing God? Does anybody know? How do you know if you're pleasing God? Well, I'm going to give y'all a secret, okay? If you see a smile on your parents' face, and uh, better yet, if your church leaders also smile at you and respect you, then you know you're pleasing God. Did y'all know that? So, when you see a big fat crown, you're ready for something you might want to change about your lifestyle. Choices. But otherwise, you guys need to know that you guys are making me smile. I've been smiling, and um, I, I think that um, some of the adults have had maybe a few little crowds, you know, over the last week. Maybe I'm sure you've seen some of that, but for the most part, you know that you're pleasing God when you obey that and you're pleasing me. So, what if your parents are not real expressive and they don't really, they just point out the bad stuff, but not the good stuff. That's okay. When you're not pointing out bad stuff, that means it's 
good, okay? And they're not playing out bad stuff. You don't have to sit there and always get it. Oh, you're so awesome. Oh, you're so wonderful. Oh, you're so perfect. You don't have to hear that. So, neutral means good, but when you're correcting me, it means that there's something, there's something bad, okay? But a lot of times it means it's just a tweak. It's just a correct. And y'all just need to listen to it, and y'all cry about it, because that just, what you do when you're crying about it, means you want to block it. You don't want to, so you don't want to cry or whine about being corrected. But, um, your parents are very, we talk about y'all all the time. Did y'all know that? So, it's kind of like y'all are it to us, but we don't want to tell you to get the big head, you know, and we don't want you to get the big head. But, you know, I've noticed some beautiful things that y'all have done since we've been here that we can even count on y'all, that y'all cool each other, that y'all are nice to each other. So, I praise God for all that. The one correction that has kind of brought to me that we might want to, to learn to do, which would be really, really cool. And I'd say that Joe's really good at this. Uh, he grew up up at the desert kind of by himself and he's like, when he like gets something out, he puts it back. When he you know gets out a shirt, he puts it back. When he gets out, you know, like if he eats, he puts the food back. If he drinks a can, he throws it away. I know it's a novel idea. <laughs> I mean, I know it's you know it's kind of like one of those things where you go, wow, you know, that's really really cool. How do you do this? Now, what's the trick? The trick is looking behind. The trick is looking behind you. You've got to like, look behind you. And uh, uh, if, if you don't look behind yourself, you don't remember. What you're doing is you're going to the next thing, and it's the next thing, and it's the next thing. So, what we're going to try this week is a game of looking behind you. And if you forget to look behind you, you it, it, then your friend could tell you, hey, look behind you, you don't have to that out. So you kind of scan the room, you scan the room, you look to see. If there's cans, there's, you know adults are coming to pick up behind you, but you don't want to do that to school. So, that's the diva. God's going to love it. Everybody loves it. Y'all did a good job just sitting here. Look at this. So sweet. We'll, we'll share some more later, but y'all can all uh, skedaddle now. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye, guys. You know, looking out on the horizon line of this beautiful ocean here, it really is all about God, isn't it? It is all about God. And, these, mean, and the Spirit of God emanates from these children. And like I said before, I'm, I'm just incredibly proud of them. They're, they're, so, they're so wonderful. I'm, I'm just in awe of how, of how upright they are. And it does take effort from the parents that it's made a difference that these parents put them around kids that are talking about God and parents that are talking about God and that they, these parents are encouraging these children to be in these Bible devotionals. So and that's that what, makes that, a difference. That's what God asks of us as parents in the Bible. Raise your children in the Word. As always, we love you. We're praying for you. Gwen and I are just honored that you spend this time with us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. And it's all love. It's all about God. Yay. It's all about God. Hey, Joe. We want to thank you for watching Life of Winnie Joe. And we are praying that you are so in love with God and your life is getting so blessed that you can tell the whole world that God is awesome. Woo! Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.